Hello everyone, so today's video is going to be my current favourites because I've been liking quite a few things recently and I thought that it would be fun to share them with you um, so maybe you can buy them if you're looking for some new things or just so you can sit and watch a video like a normal person would do. So I'm just going to head on and get started and show you some of my favourites. So the first favourite that I have are some makeup brushes and these are only six of them but I got um, ten of them for five pounds on eBay and I wasn't really expecting much because ten brushes for five pounds is pretty cheap and you're just going to expect rubbish quality from them but I was kind of shocked because these are actually amazing I'm definitely going to be um, buying some more of them to add to my collection because they're just as good quality as Real Techniques ones in my opinion and I don't see the point in spending so much money on them when you can get loads of packs of these um, which come up to the same price. So like I said, you get 10, but I've only really been loving six of them. Um, and you get five eye brushes and five face brushes. The eye brushes are miniature versions of the face brushes. Um, so for the face ones, um, the first one I've been loving is this like tapered under eye um, concealer brush. I use it for contouring. Um, the second one is just this like round top foundation buffing brush or whatever you want to use it for that's what I use it for anyway and then the other one is just this angled fluffy face brush which I like to use for bronzer um, and they are just really good quality and funnily enough the irishes that I've been liking are exactly the same as the face brushes I've just shown so I've been really liking this tapered eye brush to go around my eyes with concealer I've been loving the round top fluffy blending brush to put like a transition colour through the crease and then again the angled fluffy brush to do the outer corner eyeshadow work and if you're wanting to buy those brushes I will leave a link in the description box for you to check them out because they are definitely recommendable and I did not expect that good quality from them but I got the total opposite and I got amazing quality brushes for only £5 so like I said I'll leave that down below if you want to buy some so the second favourite I have are some perfumes and I don't usually wear perfumes, I usually wear like body sprays from Victoria's Secret or Enspa. But these are two perfumes that I've been reaching for so much recently and they're from the Library of Fragrance and just a little disclaimer, yes they did send me these but I wouldn't mention them on my channel if I didn't like them and I'm not going to suggest or recommend something to you that I don't like because what's the point in that? Um, so yeah, that's just a little disclaimer out of the way. I do really like these, otherwise I wouldn't be showing them to you. But I have the scents Fresh Coconut and Pina Colada. And when Claire asked me what was I liked, I said that I liked sort of like tropical, fruity, fresh scents. And these are the ones that she suggested. So Fresh Coconut is just a really nice, clean scent like you'd expect. It's just very nice and fresh, hence the name Fresh Coconut. And then the Pina Colada one is like a burst of fruitiness. It's like all floating around and it's just like... Hmm, summer all over again. Um, and these are £15 each in boots if you are looking to buy some. I will leave the link to them in the description box for you to check out. I definitely recommend them. You get 30 millilitres, but they have an amazing range of different scents. They are very unique, and that's what I like about Library Fragrance because there's nothing out there like it. They have ones like Rain, Thunderstorm, Baby Powder, all sorts like that. And they've even added a new one called Bonfire, which is just like autumn. Autumn, autumn, autumn. But like I said, these are £15 each. I absolutely love them. And I have not stopped wearing these. I've had them in my school bag. Like, I alternate through them. I've just gotten so many compliments. And my friend Sophie is obsessed with this coconut one. And that if that doesn't want to make you buy them and just wear them sprays then I don't know what does because I'm absolutely in love with it. I'm definitely going to be buying some more to add to my collection. So the next favourites I have are some beauty favourites and I only have four to show you. Um, but the first one is a primer and this is the um, Miniature Professional Benefit Primer. And I never really used to use this because I didn't know how to use it. Uh, which can't, sounds kind of stupid but now that I know how to use it I have not stopped wearing it. Um, it just comes with like this little cute blue squeezy tube. And I just apply it on my nose and around the areas that get oily or I have like visible pores, not that I have too many, but you know, I just like to put it on them and it just minimises them and helps my BB cream just, thank you my bike, that was really helpful, and helps my BB cream just smooth on so much easier and it just gives a nicer finish to your base and that is why I like that. And um, that is just a miniature size, um, I don't know whether I will get the big size because I have quite a few uh, miniature ones to use up yet, but we'll see. Also, sorry if I sound really, like, nasally, I've got a cold and I just need to film a video, so I wasn't going to let that stop me. 
So the second sort of beauty product I have is a concealer from Kiko and usually if I want to go to Kiko I have to go to Leeds because I don't have a Kiko in my town but there's a new shopping centre opening in my town on bonfire night and there is going to be a Kiko Milano in there which I'm so excited about so yes um, I will be getting a lot more Kiko products in the future but I bought this back in March or the end of February, just after my birthday, and it's the Kiko Natural Concealer in the shade 03, and it's kind of small, um, but it's lasted me since March, so, you know, kind of get a lot of quad product, product, wow, you kind of get a lot of product in it, and it has like this matte rubbery lid, and it was £5.50, but the thing I like about this is it is so creamy, it is unbelievable. And another thing I like about it is it's not too high coverage, but it's not too sheer, it's just sort of like that in-between, and just the creaminess, I can't explain, it is just like, oh, my favourite concealer, I've been using this every day, I've been even taking it to school to like top up, it's just great for under eyes, blemishes, everything. You could even use this instead of a foundation or a BB cream, like it just gives a really nice even coverage, and like I said, that was £5.50 and I absolutely love it. Then I have an eye product which I picked up one or two weeks ago, I can't really remember. And it is the Rimmel London Wonderful Wake Me Up Mascara. And you guys probably know that I love the Rimmel Wake Me Up range already. And this has just made me love it even more. It is this like mascara, it's in a green thing, which is kind of weird because I've never really seen a mascara in a green tube before. But I really like it, it's like... Pretty, it's all metallic. It's got orange writing, but the thing I like about this, I don't know whether it's just me that thinks this or whether um, it actually does it, but I feel like it makes my eyelashes grow. And I've been using this since I got it, so since like two or one week ago, and I feel like my lashes have grown. I don't know what it is, I just, I don't know. But the brush, probably what you're all gonna wanna see anyway, is like this peanut shape. It's fiber brushes, so probably a lot more people like it because I know not a lot of people are fans of plastic brushes, um, but it's just so lovely, like I can't explain, it just glides on, makes my eyelashes really long, and I've actually been using this a lot more than my roller lash, which says something because I am obsessed with roller lash, and to say that I've been using that more than it, um, kind of shows that I like it. And the final beauty product that I have is a lip liner, and I've never really had something from this brand before, and it is Model Co. Um, I actually got this from my auntie because she didn't like it anymore, and she'd only just bought it, so I thought, why not, let's have it. And it's the Model Co lip liner, and it just says Illusion Nude lip liner on the back of it, so I'm guessing that's the shade, I don't really know, but it's not sharpened at the moment, it just, you probably can't even see it, it's like white. There we go. Um, but it's just this nude lip liner, like I said, it's really like gone down. I'm wearing it today and I've been wearing it like almost every day. I'm even wearing this for school. It's just a really nice nude natural lip colour and it sort of is like the Kylie Jenner lip colour, but I hate using that reference because everybody uses it. But it is like a Kylie Jenner lip colour. Um, very similar to Max Velvet Teddy and all those sort of nude lip liners that everyone goes on about and nude lip colours. But um, I don't know how much it is, like I said, because it was given to me by my auntie. But if I can find it, I will leave it down below because I want to buy another one of these myself. So, yes. Um, that's it for this video. Sorry for sounding like a man because I have a cold. But I'll see you in my next one very soon. Bye!